Sagittarius. Welcome back to the channel. This is your bonus reading. Let's get some messages for you, Sagittarius, and find out what it is that the universe wants you to know for your bonus reading. Sagittarius. Money. Oh, jeez. Compliments from an admirer. You're being protected from negative forces that are beyond your control. Something important, such as a new job or a raise. Sagittarius, what's this? But beware. <laughs> Don't take risks with your money. What's going on, Saggy? Hmm. Wait a sec. I don't know if we're talking about your energy. I'm going to clarify this. What about this material wealth here? Is it Sagittarius who should take care of money? Is it Sagittarius mm. who should take care of their money? Who is this shark here? Sag. No. Someone else. High honor and respect is coming to you. Uh, so, you could be getting compliments from an admirer. Hmm. What's going on here, Saji? No, it's not your energy. Be careful, though. What I will say is be careful not to overspend. But what it's looking like, though, Saj, We just continue on. No, it's not your energy, Sagittarius. No, it's not your energy. It's this damn other lover. So, you could be getting compliments from an admirer, or it is this person who is getting compliments. Somebody is complimenting you because you're getting some sort of money, a pay raise or a promotion, an increase in money, Sag, and it's telling you to not... You could be getting a new job, a new career, or a pay increase, Saj. You could be getting compliments from an admirer, but not to trust. Don't trust anyone from your past. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's telling you not to overspend. Such. Or perhaps you're telling someone else to not overspend. And someone does not like this valid criticism, either you or this other person. It's to do with work, Sag. Someone competing with you or competing for this raise, this promotion. Oh, Jesus. Wait a sec. Hmm. Okay. I don't know who is doing this uh, valid criticism. Either you can't handle criticism or this person cannot handle your criticism. It's like valid criticism. And it is about spending money. Someone's in their ego about either this person you're dealing with can't handle criticism or it is you that cannot handle the criticism and it is about um, overspending or just saying, like, you've earned this money, Sagittarius. You're getting a pay increase. You are doing well financially. And somebody might be, oh, my God. Okay, okay. So it's it's not you that can't handle this criticism. Because there is a couple of people here that are coming to you for some sort of of advice on something. And you're telling them, you could be the one telling them to not overspend. You could be saying, you know, make sure you look after uh, your, your 
whatever your finances or whatever. And they're saying they get all in a huff. Like, they can't handle criticism. That might be you, Saj, but I'm really leaning toward this other person. There's actually a couple of people here. If you are... Giving advice to somebody, know that if you are giving valid criticism, it's not going to be taken well. <laughs> Just saying. They don't receive it well. This is a person who gets in a huff. They get all in their ego. You can't tell them anything. Uh... Because, like, I mean, you're successful here, Sagittarius. Okay? So, you're financially secure. But, of course, I mean, you're not a fool with your money here, Sag. Don't be foolish, like, outrageously crazy spending or something. But you are financially doing okay. You are financially stable. Um... Yeah, they get right defensive, eh? To be on the safe side, Sagittarius, in case this is for some of you, Saggies, just use caution not to overspend. I'm not saying you're in any financial danger at all because I do not see it. In fact, I see the opposite, Saj. But make sure you are keeping it that way. Like... I don't know, if you're talking about finances, Sagittarius, and you're talking about, um, okay, I don't know what you guys are doing. Like, you could be looking into, like, investments, or you could be looking at real estate, or you could be looking at... getting financial advice or you should um you could be looking into something if it is that case if that's what you're doing and someone gives their professional opinion this is a professional opinion listen to it don't take it as criticism it is valid criticism like somebody might point something out to you that you really didn't want to hear or you really don't want to think about or something like that, but it is valid. It is valid criticism. Now, I'm not saying you're being a critic here, Saj, or someone is criticizing something like being a critic. Um you might be offering some kind of advice. I don't know. This could be a lot of things. 
This could be real estate. This could be wills, inheritances. This could be getting, seeking professional advice. Like, uh, it could be about your investments. It could be about business. It could be just about anything. It could be real estate. It's friendly advice. It's friendly advice. So, take it under consideration if it's someone else offering professional advice to you. Take it under consideration. Like, it could be professional advice. But somebody gets right defensive here. This is friendly advice. And somebody gets in a huff here. If you don't want someone's advice, don't ask for it, right? I'm mean, just saying. So I don't know which way it's going here. For some of you, it could be that somebody is offering you some professional advice and you don't want to uh, accept it. And some of you, it will be that you are offering some friendly advice to somebody but they take it as criticism. They're taking it as like you're criticizing them that they're not doing something right or they're not. Ooh, geez. So this might be a cautionary thing. Like you're adult enough, Sagittarius. If you're asking for someone's professional advice, listen to it. At least consider it. Um... If someone is coming to you for friendly advice, really assess the situation because this person gets their ass in a dander. Like someone might be complaining. For example, uh, someone might come to you complaining about their lifestyle or, or complaining about... Oh, Jesus. Here we go again. This is compliments from an admirer. So you might actually take offense to somebody making you a compliment or vice versa, like if you're offering some advice, somebody asks you your professional opinion or someone is asking you for your advice and you say it, they can't handle, they're taking it as criticism. It is valid criticism. They're coming to you with some sort of complaint. They're coming to you with some sort of uh, issue, say, they're having. And they get defensive. Saj, this is not your energy. For most of you, it's not your energy. Like, I mean, Sagittarius is professional enough that when you go and see an expert on whatever field it is, uh, you could be doing market research, you could be doing uh, some sort of... Um, you, you could be asking a realtor's assessment, say, and they might come in and they'll say, well, in order to do this, you might have to make certain changes 
or whatever. Sag is all over that, okay? Sag would be like, yeah, thanks for the tips. That's good for you to point out. That doesn't mean they're right. Just accept it, especially if you ask their opinion. But it could be the other way around where someone is coming to you asking your opinion on something like you're to be a critic like um things could be slowing down for them and they feel like you're judging them when they're asking your advice or something like that someone gets their shit in a dander because they asked for this advice they came to you asking this advice but then they get all defensive Because hmm. you're happy over here, Sagittarius. But hmm. October is there are forces that are working against you here. I need another deck. Hang on here, guys. I don't want to leave it like that. What uh, does Sagittarius let me get this out here? I can focus in on this. I don't know if we're talking about the past, Sagittarius, or we are talking about current. So just let me see, because October is here. Forces that are working against you, October is here. You're being protected from negative forces that are beyond your control. So I want to just clarify this one loss card. Take care or there'll be a loss of material wealth. Who is this card intended for, Spirit? A loss of material wealth. Who is this for? Is this for Sagittarius? Is this for Sagittarius? Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. What is this card about? Is this for... Oh, jeez. Is this for Sagittarius? The shark card. Is this for? Is this for Saj or another party? Is this shark here? Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Is this card for Saj or someone else other than Saj? Two of Swords. Hmm. Well, it, Sag, you're being protected. I just want to clarify, who is this shark? Who is it for? your past person 
or your kids. So don't be like making just in the event that it is for you, Sag, don't be making major, major purchases. I mean, don't be over investing, over uh, spending if you do not need to overspend. Your money is good here, but this could be past October. Forces that were working um, behind your back, working against you. Trust your intuition is here. Now, it, it is to do with work and it is to do with business. I don't know if it's already occurred or about to occur, but play it a little safer when it comes to your money. Don't go hog wild buying too much stuff. Like build a nest egg up. Mm. <coughs> I think someone got the, is getting their shit in a dander. It could be that someone is jealous, Sagittarius, because you're doing really well. And they might be coming to you for advice and then you give it to them and they can't handle that criticism. So it's almost like this is saying, you know, they, they're they envying you because you do have money, Sag, or that you're building a solid foundation and... They cannot handle criticism. Like someone's, someone's emotions are right at a place where they're so envious, so jealous of what you have that they're taking it as a personal attack or a personal criticism against them, yet they're coming to you for advice. It's advice they, they, they just want you to like placate them you know what i mean tell them what they want to hear and sag isn't built that way if someone's in danger of losing some money or making a poor investment you're going to say something especially if they ask your opinion like especially if it's someone you care about i don't know why people do that but they can't handle criticism. Like, they can't handle being criticized. But it's a valid criticism. It's valid. So either you gotta keep this advice, Saj, or they can't handle that criticism. Because you are getting your flowers, Sagittarius. And you are getting these blessings and somebody might say, oh, I got all these things working against me. I've got... Oh, somebody might want to borrow money from you or something like that, Saj. Or they don't have enough money for this or they don't have enough money for that. They're right freaking defensive, man, I'm telling you. It's like you can't... So somebody might, in the month of October 
seeing that you're doing financially well here, Sag, the way it's looking is like someone is approaching you and it's like you're walking on eggshells around this person because you already know your instincts are telling you that They're not going to handle this criticism very well. Yet they're asking your opinion. So what are you supposed to do? I Those are difficult people. These are difficult people. They are whoever this person is or these people are. They've got stuff working against them. But what's working against them is that they can't handle criticism and it's valid criticism. That is what's working against them. Like, shoot. Okay, crystal clear now, spirit. Thank you. So this person comes to you for advice or you chat with these people or they could be friends or they could be family members or relatives or whatever. And say you're just shooting the shit with them or something and they ask your opinion about something or they mention, oh, they've got so much working against them. They can't afford to pay this. They can't afford to pay that. They got more money going out than what's coming in. And it's like, they may be asking for a loan or, or saying something and you've already mentioned to these people, oh God, yeah, this is walking on eggshells with these people. So if you know people like that, it's them. They're the people that you cannot say anything to without them getting their shit in a dander. There is jealousy. And it's like... The way that this person is is that they spend their money foolishly uh, they spend a lot of money for stuff that they really can't afford you know they and if you if you turn them down and you say well Oh my God, you got to use kick gloves with these people. I'm almost scared to tell them what to do here. And it's a tarot card reading. That's how sensitive they are. They're super, super sensitive to any criticism. It's like you got to watch everything you say and every word that comes out of your mouth or they get offended. Or they twist your words and make it look like you were criticizing them and putting them down. And it's bullshit. This is business. They're coming to you for advice. And I mean, you care about these people. So this is not your past person. This is people that you care about, Sagittarius. And they're coming to you. And you're trying to give them some information. You're trying to give them, um, maybe it's your expertise that you they're coming to you for. Okay, it could be on your job. It could be within your family. And every time you say something, these people get offended or this person gets offended. Like they're a complainer. Okay, they complain about their circumstances. They complain about their the way that they're living their life or they complain about their finances. They complain, they complain. They just want someone to complain to. They really don't want solutions. They just want uh, you to listen to them complain about their life and agree with them. And that's not a way a saggy rolls. It can be. Yeah, uh, this is kit gloves handling something with 
kit gloves. You might be better off just letting him ramble on until he can't take it no more. I, I don't know, Sag, because this person really, truly gets offended. Like, they're jealous, Sag. And so they feel like... If you was to tell this person, okay, say your expertise is real estate, or say your expertise is investments, or say your expertise is whatever it is. Someone comes to you for your opinion, and then you offer it to them, and then they turn into your enemy. <laughs> Because you told them the truth. Like, this is someone who you seriously walk on eggshells with. And you know who they are. Say so they come in and they'll compliment you on something. Or you compliment them on something. And then they take offense to it. Like... If you, say, went to their house, for example, say you went to their house and they got something new in their house and you say, oh, that's really nice. I'm really happy for you. Good for you. And then you talk about something that you're doing. They ask you what you're doing and then you tell them what you're doing you have to downplay it to these people. You can't tell them how well you're doing because then they think that you are looking down on them or that you are, holy God, childish. It's because they're jealous, okay? So you have to upplay everything that they do, but you have to downplay everything that you do in order to have a decent conversation with these people. Like, you couldn't, oh, they're, you know, um, they're easily offended. And I'm saying they. So it could be a couple that you know, or whatever, and they come in, and they, they invite you over, they show you something that they're doing, and you're all encouraging, and you're saying, hey, that's great, that's great. But then they ask your advice on something, and you tell them, and they get all snarly at you. Then they treat you like public enemy because you actually make sense. Mm. Kit gloves in October for people. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Lordy. Super sensitive, these people. And it is friendly advice. And I think that you're sitting over here for coffee with these people. They may invite you over for coffee or something. And you pay them a compliment. You might say, oh, that's really nice or that's really good news. I'm really happy for you. And then they ask you what you're doing. <clears throat> I don't know if those are people who can't celebrate your wins. That's what it is. People who cannot celebrate your wins. And if you were to ever tell them, Sagittarius, just how well you are doing, they couldn't handle it. You'd probably make enemies of them. Because some of you are doing really, 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 really well. And they're offended. You're not bragging, Sagittarius. You're not 
coming off as a braggart. You're not coming off as thinking you're better than other people or anything, Sag. John, don't even go there. That's not happening, Sag. Um, so you've gone through this before with these people. Whoever it is, you've gone through it before with these people. They could be your friends, Sag. They could be co-workers. And now they might be offering you criticism. If it's valid, take it. If it's just straight up being critical of you, you might be getting your shit in a dander. If it's valid criticism, take it. But if it's just straight up criticizing you, belittling you, trying to, like I said, downplay your accomplishments, and they cannot celebrate your wins, you um, might be putting someone in their place. And it might embarrass them. And you could be having a falling out with somebody over it. Yeah, they're coming in real critical. Like I said, if it's valid criticism, listen to it. If it's just straight up criticism, you might just have to walk away from it, Sagittarius. Don't engage. Don't engage. Somebody might be looking for a fight, you know, and somebody's getting really huffy here and pissed off. At words that are spoken. I don't know, guys. I have a few people like that that I know. And I have to be super cautious. I'm trying to keep the peace, but I have to be super, super cautious of what I say to them because I just, you know, I, uh, they're people that you care about. So you have to be super, super cautious of everything that you say. And you are walking on eggshells, but quite honestly, like what it's doing, it's keeping me away from them is what it's doing. Because it's like I'm trying to keep high vibrational and I don't want to go around them. I mean, I care for them and everything, but I don't want to hear all the negative uh, feedback all the time. And it's not valid criticism. It's straight up criticism. And it's like the better off that you're doing, the more that you're confident in yourself, you don't even have to be doing well. You're just confident. You have a good uh, energy about you. And it's like then they get all pouty or they get... Um, they start criticizing you. Everything you say, everything. You could talk about the weather and they would find something wrong with what you said. And I've often wondered why that is. I mean, if it's raining, it's raining, right? <laughs> but they'll find something wrong with what you're saying. Or it's like you could be leaving there wondering, well... What was up there, but you know, it's nothing, it's envy. Okay, 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 I'll say it so. You may have told somebody 
here's another one. You might have told somebody to stop drinking. Or uh, they might say things when they're under the influence of alcohol that they may or may not say normally. And you let it slide, you let it slide. That's what it's looking like. You just try to keep the peace. But you may have, even if it's your past person, you may have told them, like, you need to slow down on the drinking, right? And then they get all offended. But you didn't say that to be mean to them. You were saying that to give them valid criticism, like, I'm worried about your health here. Or I'm worried about you're showing care and you're showing consideration, but Jesus, why can't you just be say what you want to say? I, I don't know too many Saggies that can pussyfoot around issues. I, you're pretty straight shooters, Sagittarius. So the bottom line is you may have fallen out with somebody in October over it. Or already did have a falling out with somebody over that. That's their that's their grudge or their vengeance. You may have called somebody out and offered valid criticism to to them, but or vice versa. Could be people you work with. It could be people that, oh my God, if you're doing that on the job, that's a spooky one too, because if it's a boss or a supervisor, they get their shit right in the dander. It's like, you cannot have like an opinion, say you're at the office or whatever you do for your job. And they tell you to do it a certain way or whatever, but your way is like way more efficient or you've got more expertise on the job than they have. They get, they get all offended. They get offended. It could be friends. It could be coworkers. It could be family. But the bottom line, where it is consistent throughout, is that it's envy. So they're coming at you. Or this past person is coming at you. Or it could be siblings. It could be, um, it's critics. But not valid criticism. It's they are saying it intentionally to hurt you, to bring you down to their level. And that's the part I don't like. Like celebrate your wins. Be around people who celebrate your wins, who want to congratulate you. And I mean, you're proud of them. You're showing them I'm proud of you. I'm encouraging these people up, but they can't do that for you, Saj. They won't do that. If they do, it's like pulling teeth. And then they'll follow it through with their criticism. You know, you don't want... You, that's the attaboys. You know, you can say a thousand attaboys to try to undo one really critical comment, right? So these are people you're used to dealing with. These are people that They have a freaking ass tough time congratulating you, Sag, or saying you had a good idea, or saying, you know, I'm proud of you, or saying, you know, they really struggle with that. 
it's like if it's said it's kind of phony and you can't really trust it because you know damn well it's phony <laughs> Oh, something like that coming up in October or it happened in a October with your past person. They could not handle criticism. They cannot handle it. One of the two. But there's more people around than your past person like that. These are people that you care for. These are people who are current in your life or yeah it could have been a history of yours as well like you can make them feel good you can build them up but they have a tough time building you up have a tough time reciprocating really struggle with it take care of such